Hello all, welcome to our channel. Today we are learning problems on decision tree analysis. So just looking over a terminology of what is this decision tree, you have to look what are the different types of decision tree. So that would be an easy way to understand how to analyze. So going with an uh, meaning of what is decision tree, it is a diagrammatic representation of different alternatives with possible consequences. Okay. So we might need to go with two or three different type of cases and we will try to understand which is the best and this is what which will help us to understand with the help of decision making. So you got to know decision tree could be done with the help of decision making. So then what is decision making? So you will select a course of action when there are different kind of options which has been available. Then what kind of uh, important things or different types are being available? So coming to this, there are three different types. One is decision making under certainty, decision making under uncertainty, decision making under risk. So how is this divided? So when it comes for division, very simple. When you have a complete information about a problem, we call this as decision making under certainty. When there is no information known, which is called uncertainty. When there is an incomplete information which you could find, so that is what we call it as a risk. Okay. So by taking this into consideration, we will see different problems, how it could be solved and how it would be done. Okay. So continuing with our first problem, the first problem says a manager has to choose from three available courses of action A1, A2 and A3. There are two possible events E1 and E2 respectively with the probability of occurrence as 0.7 and 0.3 respectively for all the three alternatives. The payoffs for E1 and E2 that is they have given for E1 and E2 are 25, 35, 20, 45, 50 and 35 respectively coming to three alternatives such as the best decision. Okay. Information goes with a simple strategy. A1, A2, 3 is being given. So under that you have two different parts which is E1 and E2 which has a probability of 70% and 30%. How did you get to know? It is 70 by 100 which gives you 0.7. 30 by 100 which gives you 0.3. Okay. So in a very simple terminology so which is being given as 0.7 and 0.3 respectively. So which, which gets you 70% and 30% respectively. Once that is done, so you have a different payoffs given for E1 and E2. So considering this, so now we have to do a decision tree through that expected monetary value we are supposed to look after which is the best decision or where a manager has to choose for. Okay. So you have to just follow the solution or a diagram or a decision tree how this would be done. So we go for business decision. So a business has to decide three they have given A1. This would be A2. This would be A3. So you write as A1. This you write as A2. And this box would be filled by A3. Okay. So under A1, once again you have two possible events. You can look here E1 and E2. As they have only given E1 and E2 for all the three courses of action. So for everything we have to write E1, E2. E1, E2. E1, E2. E1, E2, E1, E2, E1, E2. Okay. So for this, they have also told this E1 and E2 as a probability of occurrence of 0 0.7 and 0 0.3 respectively. So we will write as 0 0.7 
जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो पॉइंट सेवन जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एंड विच इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री ओके सो आफ्टर दिस नव वी आर सपोज टू गो एड विथ राइटिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ पे ऑफ्स द पे ऑफ्स एज अ वैल्यू ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी फाइव ट्वेंटी फॉर ई वन फोर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी एंड थर्टी फाइव फॉर ई टू ओके सो कंटिन्यूएशन विद द डायग्राम so look here we will write the values for e1 first so for the values of e1 the values are 25000 35000 and 20000 coming to the values of e2 you have 45000 50000 and 35000 okay how to find out the expected monetary value simple you have 0.7 you have value 25000 just multiply you will get a total 0.3 into 45 just multiply you will get a total add both you will get a total for a1 do the same thing for a2 do the same thing for a3 so based on the different totals whichever total is the highest so that would be considered for our decision making process okay so if you want so we can further write as 25000 into 0.7 45000 into 0.3 here also it is 35000 into 0.7 50,000 into 0.3, 20,000 into 0.7, which is one sign. 35,000 into 0.3. So now, just as mere multiplication, 25,000 into 0.7 will get you 17,500. 45 into 0.3 will get you 13,500. So if you add the total, you will get. Thirty-one thousand. So we are trying to find out the expected monetary values, and the first one is thirty-one. Next one, thirty-five thousand into point seven will get you twenty-four five hundred. Fifty thousand into point three will get you fifteen thousand. So adding both the values, once again we will get thirty-nine five hundred. Twenty thousand into point seven will get us fourteen thousand. Thirty-five thousand into point three will get us ten thousand five hundred. Adding both, we will get twenty-four thousand five hundred. Okay, so we got expected monetary value for A one, A two, A three. Okay, so considering this, now which is which one is the best? Okay, so what we are supposed to do is look here. The highest is thirty-nine thousand. So comparing to all the three. Thirty-nine thousand five hundred is the best. So we consider A two is the best decision where a manager should do. Therefore, therefore, A two is the best decision where a manager has to take. How we will take? We will take according to the values of the given decision tree. and based on that he will verify the uh, expected monetary value so which says 39500 that is a2 is the best okay thank you we will look for next class